how to create something like this in a Finzi photo. First thing to do, let's remove all the layers. Remove them all, even that one. Once you've done that, just go over here and select the ellipse tool. So ellipse tool, drag and hold down the shift to create a circular design. Now you'll notice here, I've got some dashes. Also got the fill to nothing. So click here, make sure you just set that to nothing. Then go to the stroke, click there, and set it to any color. I'm going with blue. But also at the side, just click here, and then go here, the dash settings. So dash settings, and I'm setting the width to about 30. You could set it to, of course, anything. And I'm gonna go with one and one, and you can see the settings down here for all the various caps, joins, and lines. Also, I've got scale with object set to be on. So I've got one, one for the dashes at the bottom. Well, once I've done that, what I can then do is I can now go over here to the move tool, select that, press return, and or enter on the keyboard, and you'll get this panel pop up. Here, go to the scale and also duplicate. So set that on, so that's on, and then you can set the number of copies. And I'm just gonna go for six or seven. Now at the moment, of course, I've got the scale is 100, so just reduce it down. And you can see as you do that, it goes all the way down to that center point. Now I'm not gonna go all the way to the center, makes it very small. And obviously for purposes of this tutorial, it's quicker just to do about seven or eight. But you can see the general idea, you could make it go all the way to the center. Then also you can go to rotation and you can just change the rotation just slightly. Don't have to go too far, say six or eight, and you can see you can make it rotate all the way around for each of those circles. And then click okay. And then you can see you've got this, lots of dots of layers. Now with the layers, you can just go over here to the ellipse, select that one. And then I'm just gonna drag this off there so you can see I can select that one. And then what I can do, I can change the color. Now what I wanna do is to change the color for this stroke. So I'm just gonna change that. And you can go back and forwards and then click there. Make certain it's that one, that option there. So you can see it's on top. And this is for the stroke. Set foreground. Right, then go here to the next one, select that, go for purple, and you can run through them all. So quickly do that. It's just now you could of course select them actually on the screen. That's another option as well. You can see as you change there, just change that. Maybe go for green. Make certain you go for different colours for each of the ones you select. So just go for purple there, maybe orange there. And so obviously there's only a limited range of colours in this colour options here. So just go to this one and maybe go for uh, that one. Right, so I've got something like that. You could, of course, go for any color combination. Maybe use the rainbow colors. That's another possibility. And once you've done that, you can go top, bottom, hold down the shift, select all of the layers. So all selected, right click, and then you go down here to group. Just group them all into one single group because the next thing I want to do is rasterize this design. So group, all grouped, and now go to layer and down here to rasterize. So rasterize turns it all into one single pixel layer. Now you don't have to, you could turn it, keep it as obviously shapes. I'm just gonna go for the pixel layer, however. Now just move that out of the way, I don't need that anymore. I don't need the other one either. Oh, so I do need it because I'm gonna add a layer effect. That would be a nice idea as well. So I just drag that up so you can see it. Now effects, just click here, effects. So click there, and I'm gonna go for 3D. So 3D gives a nice bit of depth there. And you can change the radius, obviously you can push it too far. Maybe go for six or nine, that sort of thing. You could change profile, direction, etc. And also maybe go for outer shadow. And then make sure that's highlighted. And then go for radius, offset, and intensity. Put them out in the middle. Up to you again on that, you don't have to have it at all. And then close. So with this, you can now duplicate this design. Hold down the Ultra Option key and drag. And then repeat that and drag again, drag again, drag again, drag. All the time holding down the Ultra Option key. And you can see then you can build up a very interesting sort of mosaic design very quickly. And you can also reduce the size, of course, or maybe rotate it as well. Don't have to have it exactly. Obviously, it doesn't particularly make any difference, but you could maybe sort of extend it like that and then rotate it and so on. You could do a variety of different transforms, maybe 
add some perspective or distort just to create some interesting designs there as well. And you can always access that, just go here, right click, and you can see then just down here, transform, you've got flip, horizontal, so if you want to do those, but maybe use a warp or something. Go to various filters, apply some of the filters, maybe distort, mesh warp is a great option just to distort the design so you don't get them all super uniform. And you can maybe do that, distort it like that. And once you're happy, click apply. It's obviously lots of different options. Maybe use mirror or deform. And with that, again, select the move tool, hold down the ultra option key and duplicate that design. And you can build up all kinds of complex designs very quickly, very colorful design with this circular initial shape. And of course you could use maybe a square or a rectangle instead for your earlier shape. Please add a thumbs up, always appreciated. Also, please subscribe to the channel, always adding new tutorials all the time. Also, any comments, any comments about this effect, please let me know below. Bye.